Publishers Clearinghouse is a company that you always see like commercials for them where it's like, who's going to be the next big winner? And they do things where it's like, you win a million dollars plus $1,000 a week every week for the rest of your life. What they do is they, they, they solicit you to, to sign up for their, their giveaways. And they also send you in the mail a bunch of like mail order, just garbage and crap. They used to make their, their, their main business selling magazine subscriptions, hence the name Publishers Clearinghouse. You know, the magazine publishers. I thought Publishers Clearinghouse went the way of the Dodo Bird 15 years ago. When the, when the internet became a widespread commodity, I thought they were gone. Turns out, I was wrong about that. <laughs> if you guys love the car, the spam mail to buy a car, this shit's even wackier. This, this, this is insane. This one showed up first. You know, it looks very official. You know, it says final step required. And I'll, I'll, I'll get into this in, ju in, in just a second. I just want to just address, you know, just let's take a look at it first. This is the first one, right? Here's how thick the envelope is. It's, it's just, it's packed full of shit. The, the big giveaway date on NBC TV is Friday, June 29th, 2018. So it's, it's a week from now. You know, no one's going to watch this because you guys are going to be watching Gator Box next week, I'm sure. But when th this arrived earlier this month, and I've been sitting on it for a while, thinking about what to do, and then as I was waiting, because, you know, the first week back we did viewer mail, and then FPS Reflex brought over the ration, so the next week we did the ration, and then last week we had more viewer mail, so... In that time, this has just been sitting at my desk, and in that time, another one showed up with different, different shit, different gimmicks inside of it, but it's still the same, where does it say it on there? Yeah, you can see from inside the little window here, it's the same giveaway. When I was a kid, I remember my mom getting these and just throwing them away. But I would hang on to them because they had uh, stamps inside that you would rip off and then lick the back of and stick on the order form inside to buy shit. I thought the stamps were great. So I would like lick the stamps and stick them on my folders at school because I was a fucking retard. So when these showed up, I'm like, dude, what year is it? <laughs> this is 2018. St they still send shit in the mail? They're still trying to trick people sending shit in the mail? And that's the thing is, I'm not trying to say that Publishers Clearinghouse is a scam. Because I'm pretty sure that's a libel. But I will say, I will say, every time they pick a winner for one of these million dollar lifetime giveaway prize things, it's always, uh, it's always a very convenient person. It'll be like some old man... Some old dude who lives in like a tiny little house and he's retired and he drives like a shitty car and like his the garage doors open and there's shit there's shit the garage full of shit and they'll knock on the door and this little this frail old man comes out and then they come in with the balloons and the giant big novelty check and they hand him that and he's like oh whoa it was a miracle or they, like the winner is like some some big black lady or something like that and it, you know and then she starts freaking out and it's always it's always those kinds of people who win. Like, you never see, like, you never see someone like me, just some regular dude, win this. Like, you don't, that's, it's very, it's very strange. So let's take a look at what you get when Publishers Clearinghouse sends you some shit. I guess we can at first, you know, first look at the, the big green thing. You know, as per PCH regulations, a multi-million dollar prize number, multi-million dollar prize number, has to be entered for owner to become eligible to be selected to be the winner. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about... You guys remember the cartoon Doug? There was an episode where the, the moral of the episode was about saving your money and spending your money wisely and not blowing it on stupid shit. And Doug gets caught up with, um word jumble puzzles in the newspaper and you gotta like pay to fill to send in your application because there's a big prize doug is like oh he opens it up and then he looks at it and he gets the next envelope from the the stupid contest thing and i shit you not they wrote this as a joke for the cartoon right to, to, to tell the story about how shitty these people are that are clearly just ripping doug off of his money doug opens the letter and says something along the lines of you have won an, a chance to be eligible to be selected to be the winner like basically exactly what this fucking sentence says right here 
in the past on this show, I've looked at stuff and I'm like, oh, I, th- I, know, I know what this font is, blah, blah, blah. Like this one back here that says important. That's called stencil. I, I mean, that's a real basic one. If you look on the back, <laughs> this, is, this is fake circle. That's not real ink. It's printed on there. I just want to point out this right here. This, this stamp looking font. It doesn't matter what the words say. This font. Do you guys remember those PSAs where it was like, you you wouldn't steal a car in in terms of like movie piracy? It's like you wouldn't download a movie. You wouldn't steal a car. That's this font. That is this font. The one that people use from all the memes where it's like you wouldn't download a bear. Yeah, there you go. So that's a little bit more officialness for you. This this part's really like this is the big gimmick. Some of the stuff down here, like we're gonna flip through it and kind of go through it real real, real fast, but. We're gonna take a look at you know these these parts right here. This is this is the this this is the big cell. This this is the big part. Just one final step, please do not ignore. And you go up here, and it's like this is inside of a a document carrier, and it says one two three because these steps are passed somehow. Somehow, this person who entered this contest has stumbled through the first three steps. But it's like, whoa, final step, hey, you're so close to $1 million. These stamps are arranged in such a way as to look like something just went, <clears throat> but you can see, look, if I, if we get close enough to it, right, you can see it's fake. It's not a stamp. It's not an ink. It's not a, th- there is not a dot matrix printer that prints text that shittily that also looks exactly like that. I don't even know what look they're trying to go for, but whatever it is, they fucked it up. All across the thing. It doesn't... It's not consistent. Right? They're trying to make it look like it's a stamp because these are all out of order. But if this was supposed to be this style of printer, this would all be very nicely aligned with itself. Maybe not centered on, on this or whatever. They might be hanging out to the side. But you get what I mean. Is that they're going for so many different looks that they fucked them all up. And you no one even knows what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. So this is actually a sticker. Like, this is a, a thing you're supposed to peel off and stick somewhere on some other shit from, I don't know. Here's the, the here's the top three things you should do before returning official entry order document. Again, they've chosen a font that looks like it was written in the type of marker I used to mark out their name, but you can tell just from comparing the two inks that it's not, it's it bullshit, right? It's not even a, you, you can tell when shit is written on it. Claim your prize number in part one. This is the top three things you should do, by the way, top tips. Claim your number in prize part whatever. Consider consider trying one of our offers in part two. What to do? Look through enclosed colorful flyers. <laughs> colorful flyers, right? It's, it's pretty, pretty colors. And if trying any offer, affix your choice of order stamp. And then it says confirm compliance in part three. So there's another goddamn sticker in... There's another sticker in here somewhere you're supposed to put somewhere else on the envelope. They're trying, they're trying to get you to buy stuff, which in the, the official rules, that's illegal. Making someone make a purchase in order to enter a sweepstakes is not legal as per U.S. law. Federal law. You cannot do that. So they, they use, like, these weasel words to try to get you to buy stuff. They put the sticker for this, like, buried in with the rest of the advertisements, so you have to look through them to find the sticker. Like, it's, it's real shitty. They do everything in their power short of just flat out lying to you to get you to buy some shit. You didn't place an order the last time we sent you a notice. We would love for you to order at this time. It's, it's just after your money. And it's just, there's like another fucking thing where it's like, immediate winner, one final step. Here's the all prizes again, in case you can't remember. Like, it's printed. This one, this one is really shitty because it's made in such a way as to look like a, like a government document, like from the IRS. Because up at the top, it's got like date codes and uh, fake form identification numbers and shit. Like, like it's just... It's not even the right size to be a... There's no, they don't sell paper in this fucking... This is stupid. Here, here's an example of what I mean, of them trying to... Uh, try, you're, I, you know what? Daemonic Void, you might be right. Italics aren't alarming enough to old people. Which is clearly the target demographic. And I've noticed... You're, you're kind of right. This mail looks the same as it did 20 years ago. With, with giant, bold colors, bold text, large text, it looks like it's in handwriting because I, I was weird. Every old person I know, every elderly person I know, 
when they get letters, they write in the margins to keep track of what they're doing. And they're imitating that exactly. You're, you're one order away from becoming a PCH preferred customer. Like, this has no bearing on whatever stupid bullshit giveaway they're doing. This is all says to upgrade customer status, but they're using confusing language here to make people think that you have to upgrade your customer status to be eligible to win, but you don't. It's it's just like I said, they use so many fucking weasel words and shit. It's such it's such a scummy thing, and they they sell this nasty this thing called egglets that says perfect hard boiled eggs every time, and it's a it's a silicone it's a little nipple that you crack an egg into, and then you you boil you boil it you dip it in a thing, so you crack an open egg into it you boil it you're basically cooking the egg, you're taking the egg out of one shell cooking it inside of another one and then you pop it out on the thing. It's just it's not hard. I mean, if you're gonna go through that much trouble, you can just buy eggs already hard boiled at the store. Like, I mean, you don't need this. This is and this is also another thing they do, right? Let me let me zoom in on this. It's two ninety nine, right? No, four payments of two ninety nine. Every price they show you is a quarter of what it actually is because you're supposed to pay them four times. It's either you either pay them quarterly or you pay them once every month. And that's how they make you think you're getting a good deal. Because you look at that and you're like, oh, it's only, only three bucks for four egg cooking things? Yeah, okay, it's like 75 cents a pop. I'll take that. And you got, that's how they got you. You're, you're fucking, they got you hook, line, and sinker. Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the fucking hell. <laughs> Here's the thing where you're supposed to put your stickers, right? Here's, to enter your final... St Place your final step label here. That was this. I think that's this thing over here. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, this sticker, that goes here. So that another another fake stamp. This is written in stencil font, and it's pasted on to make it look like it's a thing. What is... <laughs> so by affixing your stamp here, affixing your stamp here, this is says right here, I understand that there will definitely... Defi Let me... Hang on. This This is worth a zoom in. Definitely, there will definitely be a major prize winner, again, that's capitalized, of $1,000 from my local TV TV area, which includes my zip code. And then right here it says, I understand that with any order placed here, I will receive my free and full. I mean, it's free is capitalized, full is capitalized. This is like Chris Chan doing true and honest, right? It's the same, it's the same shit. Instant savings... Order now, pay later, no credit card needed because you can write them a check in the mail because they're because they're they're preying on people who aren't savvy with credit cards and still write checks. Like who does that? It's grandma. To order a magazine, you know, here's your stamps. This is where you put some stamps. But again, right here legally, they have to say no purchase or fee necessary to enter. A purchase won't improve an individual's chance of winning. Well, this this is the this is the um. This is the fine print, right? Look, look at how much stupid bullshit is. Look at this. Also, the odds of winning the, the grand prize is 1 in 6.2 billion. 6.2 billion. 6.2 billion. Six, that's, this is actually a thing. The odds of winning in this, this sweepstakes are 1 in 6.2 billion what is you know what hang on let me open up a calculator thing what is if we get one divided by six two one two three one two three the odds of you winning this is 1.61 times 10 to the negative 10th power that's the sign the the number is so astronomically small it is so small that it has to be represented in fucking scientific notation. And what this is what fell out of the back of that. Y'all want some Ginsu knives? Y'all want some Ginsu knives and a 28 LED high intensity flashlight? Someone asked if they sold LED shit. Well, here you go. I am so tempted. I am so tempted to just scan this sticker and either make it an emote for the chat or I'm just going to scan it in high resolution 
and whenever Gatorbox gets around to having its own merchandise, like stickers and stuff, I'm gonna print copies of this as a fucking sticker that you can just have, and you can put, you can complete your compliance on anything, anywhere, anytime. Just be like, oh, I got a uh, folder for school. It's compliant. There you go. Oh, I got a, I got a sign. I got to send in a check to, to, to renew my driver's license. Boom. It's compliant. There's, there's an electrical tester. There's that stupid, the stupid, the hose, the hose that expands and shrinks. As seen on TV, the the greatest. Hang on. I like this. Is the, the pages come out? It's nice, so I can just pick up one and be like, the greatest country music collection ever. Oh, that's not a. I thought I thought that was like legit a bedazzler. I'm like, no, nah, just a thing for putting studs in your clothes because your fat ass blew the the snap off of your jeans. <laughs> A, f a fascinating duo of hard-to-find U.S. currency. $1 silver certificate, $2 Federal Reserve note. They're selling you $3. $3 for four payments of $5. Now, if that ain't a fucking racket, I don't know what is. You can go to the bank right now. Right now. Not right now. It's probably closed. It's night. You can't go tomorrow because it's the weekend. Monday. Monday morning. Go to your local bank. Tell them you want a $2 bill. They will give you a fucking $2 bill. They still print them. They're still in circulation. There's nothing hard to find about it if you just go to the bank and ask for one. Now, I don't know about the silver certificate, but those are still legal tender. They're worth exactly one dollar. When I was a kid, we took a state standardized test. It was called TOS. It's called TAX now in Texas. I think it's, it's called STAR now. They've changed the name multiple times. But if you got a 90% or higher on the state standardized test every year, they would give you as a reward, they'd give you like a pencil and eraser, and they gave you a $2 bill. When I was a kid, that was the coolest shit on the planet, because I'm like, dude, a $2 bill, what? I like those like one, five, 10, 20, they make $2 bills, what? So I, I hung on to that, because I'm thinking like, dude, this is gonna be worth something someday. To this day, you know what? Hang on, hang on. 20 years ago, I was given these $2 bills, these fucking $2 bills for doing good on a state standardized test. I've got five of them. Do you know how much each of these are worth today? Two US dollars. Because it's a $2 bill, they're worth $2. When I was a kid, I'm like, these must be rare. They're worth money. They are worth money. They're worth two dollars. <laughs> Look at this. Like, this is the the older and older and much wiser. It's a workout. This isn't even a real thing. It's it's a Photoshop of just on top of an empty DVD case of some fucking clip art old people doing shit. Like it's and it's sixteen. It's sixteen dollars. Th this is sixteen bucks. A whole big ass can of salted cashews. A 1932 Chrysler LeBaron. This is a collectible, a collectible car. Very high quality. It's extremely. It's the top of the line. The best quality car. And you can get your own, your own replica of this that comes with such things as opening hood and doors, rolling rubber tires, and seats that look like soft leather. Not not seats that are soft leather. Seats that look like soft leather. Here's here's PCH's bread and butter. Get all three for fourteen ninety five. Oprah, Good Housekeeping, Woman's Day. Every annoying soccer mom reads every single one of these fucking magazines, and they know that. That's why they're here. Look at <laughs> this a magazine called Wood. An electric razor with only one of the tops instead of the three. So you just it's like for spot cleaning. It fits in your purse. It's got a built-in light doesn't matter you're gonna press it against your skin or you fucking dumb like wh and then of course we've got flex glue with Phil Swift TV spokesperson that's look, there he is right there it's a lot of damage ah here you go so you have to go through the this is important see right here this sticker that says major prize award this one that is absolutely going to be made into a gator box sticker that you can get from the gator box store at gator.co forward slash merch See that? That's the stamp you're supposed to cut out and stick on one of these fucking right here. See, this is now... <laughs> Look at this fucking mess we've made. 
How many stickers have we had to pull off of this shit to put onto something else? This is where you stuff all your crap, all your compliance confirmed paperwork. You stick it in here. These motherfuckers, these, these shitty, scummy sons of bitches can't even be asked to pay the fucking postage on the return envelope. Somebody designed this advertisement in 1983 and they've printed it every year since then. This looks like the type of shit that you would see at your grandma's house on Thanksgiving when you were a kid. I think everyone's grandma had one of these. They, you buy three, you get three free. It's not buy one, get, but technically that's not correct. You're not buying three, you're buying one set of three. You're buying one, you're getting one free, but again, they're just trying to make it seem like you're getting a great deal. <laughs> Whatever. This is like the fucking firework stands, that it's like, buy one firework, get 11 free. But the 11 is written, not the ones are just straight lines because it's a Roman numeral. It's buy one, get two free. And people actually did that back in the day. If you thought, if you thought selling three bucks for twenty dollars was was a fucking racket, here's a penny, a nickel, and a dime. This is worth sixteen cents. They're selling for sixteen dollars. That is one hundred times the markup. It's hard to read it down here. The company is called First Commemorative Mint. That seems like one of those shitty scummy places like the National Collector's Mint that they used to make those coins that was like, it's the 9-11 pop-up coin. The only legal tender coin that, that pops up and remembers that fateful day made with .999 pure silver from ground zero, but it's legal tender in fucking Liberia, which is some horribly third world broke destitute country that this this company is taking advantage of to mint to mint currency for that have 9-11 pop like they don't, they don't twin, liberia didn't even fucking have twin towers i would think they have buildings in liberia and it's anyways there's oh shit this actually is this, this is straight up the red copper pan this is it's your boy it's your girl kathy here just dump it on the plate I can't look at any of these. I can't look at this without hearing the Djibouti dubs voice in my head. I, I do not know what this person sounds like at all, any longer. All I hear is four inches of meat drowning in Dr. Pepper. That's all, <laughs> that's, that's all I hear. <laughs> How much more? Sh Jesus, there's so much shit. Like, look at all these, this fucking stuff they're trying to get you to s Okay. Lightning round. There's ten things left. There's five pages. Lightning round. Here we go. Ashens does ten things in ten minutes. There's ten things in one minute. Here we go. Let's put the timer on the clock and ready. You got a bad knee? You need your fucking diabetes knee? There you go. Good to go. Fucking a bunch of sewing needles. That's way too much. That's way too much money for some fucking needles. Who cares? This is those fucking vacuum bags for putting towels and shit in there. No one uses this shit. Ugly Disney socks. Boom. How to crochet. Probably the only thing that is use good for is sticking them down your pee hole. Don't do that because they're probably cheap plastic and they will cut the inside of your dick. Uh, here we go. More fucking money that's probably not real. Just fucking legendary voices, memories. Are these even songs or are they, or are they just speeches? No, they're songs. They gotta be songs. Who, listens to, who puts that on, on, on fucking, fucking CD? The diabetes cure? Nope. Uh, another fucking collectible car? There you go. And the cross to hang on the wall. Check them all off, folks. Look at that. Did you guys like that remark about the cure for diabetes? Because that's, uh... <laughs> that's, that's a fucked up thing, right? Like, look at this shit. The diabetes cure... This is such a fucking shitty thing to put on a book. There's no goddamn cure for diabetes. It's incurable. It's a persistent condition that is controllable. It's not curable. It's not... I mean, you can, you can go into and get, like, that early diabetes, and you can dial that back and get out of it, but... Like once you go once you go over the cliff, you can't like like type two and shit like that. You can't get back from that. You're pumping insulin into your body the rest of your fucking life. That's so it's so sh shitty to to just say something like that. Oh, what is this? The author is Alexa Fleckenstein, M.D. Fucking Fleckenstein, really? You couldn't like that? Sounds like a this book was written by Rusty Shackelford, right? It's, fuck off. This is a this is a really big one. So obviously there's some good deals. And it turns out it's just melamine dishes. Look at how... That's a thing of grapes. It's, a, not, like, it's not like a thing of grapes. It's like one little thing, but it, does, it doesn't even fit inside the bowl. How, what 
are you gonna put in there? Like two Ritz crackers and then seal it up for later? This bath towel is twenty dollars. You can buy a you can buy a microfiber memory foam bath mat at Walmart for eight dollars and change. I know this because I just bought one last week to put in my bathroom. I need to spend twenty bucks on this shit. This is this stupid. What are you dumb? What we got in the back? Put an end to microwave messes. You can just put a paper towel. Like how much? This is a sixteen dollar device that only works on certain plates, and you could just solve this by not being an idiot with the microwave. Like it's not. They sell this shit at Dollar General for like three bucks. It's the same. It might not be red. Might not be copper, whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> you sons of bitches! Kitchen right, nonstick, copper colored, copper colored grill grid. It ain't the copper pan. It ain't. Hey, it's your boy Kathy here. It's not. It's not this. It's not. It can fit my butt. It's not that. It's copper colored. It's not even copper. So all this anti-stick stuff where it's like, oh, the cheese ain't the cheese act ain't gonna stay on it. No, that does not apply to this. Everything is going to stick to this unless you spray the shit out of it with Pam. Universal bread loaf container. You know what's great about this? You know what's great about the universal bread loaf container? Is that when you buy a loaf of bread, it comes with one. It's a bag. This is literally the Vegematic. Literally the fucking Ronco Vegematic from the 80s. That's what this is. It's a different shape. But it does the same thing. You put the vegetable, you push it through the grid of blades, it, it dices stuff. You know that you know that thing that people always say? They say, it slices, it dices, it you know that That's the Vegematic. That was the catchphrase from the thing, and this is just some shitty knockoff of it that they can't even you know pfft, whatever. This is the same the same shit for the same giveaway, but it's presented totally differently. And if I take this out. I mean, Oh, wait, hang on. This this just fell out from the back. Here's another candidate for Gatorbox sticker, by the way. Pro processing approved. Complete file. I'll probably have to Photoshop out where it says Publisher's Clearinghouse, because that might actually be a trademark violation if I sell duplicates of this stupid-ass sticker. Another <laughs> compiled official documents. It's in a shitty-ass, not-even-real-manila folder. Let's take, let's take a look at that. What do we got here? Is this a up? Oh, there's another sticker. This is the, kind of the same principle, really, right? You get it's the same giveaway: one million dollars at once, a thousand dollars a week for life, plus a brand new car. Same prizes, same overall thing. They give you a different form. It's a sticker you got to put on the thing, and it's that's just a really thick piece of paper. It comes with another. I'm pointed out again, right here, some fake shit at the top to look like. A government document except I like this one because the print job was really shitty so this is all supposed to be underlined in red but the the printer was not aligned right so instead what you got is it looks like they just made an error and they just marked it out so like this the most important parts of the paragraph is like ah oh, we fucked up uh uh please don't say no again we're waiting to hear from you our records show the last time we sent you a mailing you didn't place an order that's all this. <laughs> that surprised us because you could have tried any item without risk. An item is is all caps, like it's an important thing in Pokemon. Like, I'm, right? Look at that. Can put the sticker. Put the big the big flashy sticker on the thing. Put the other sticker on the other thing. Consider trying an offer, and they the, the recommended offer is of course flex glue. That's the. It's a lot of damage. I needed to get something out of this. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Don't tell me I lost it. I had a penny in this drawer. Specifically for this reason. Oh, I got a whole bag of coins down here. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> I don't have a penny in my thing. So... I'm gonna grab a coin out of my childhood collection of foreign coins from around the world. This little bag that I pulled the $2 bills out of a second ago. So that I can make fun of this fake scratch off that I am almost positive we're an instant winner on. Alright, what do we get? 
Oh, I know what that is. This is a coin that my grandfather gave me. He passed away in 2005. He gave me this. I, was, I was like seven, seven or eight years old. So this is like 95. That's when he gave me this. Uh, it's a Mexican coin. Uh, the United Mexican States, Estados Unidos Mexicanos, and it's worth one thousand dollars. I don't know the, I don't know the trade value of that, but uh, you can win one of these a week from Publishers Clearinghouse if you win their giveaway. So, pop pop, I'm gonna use your your gift that you gave me when I was a, when I was a little kid, so I can scratch this off and make fun of someone for it <laughs> he's looking he's looking down on me he's fucking shaking his head right now man let's scratch it off the magic secret prize number is 18 do you think all of them are gonna say 18 or is one of them gonna say 18 i think doing all of them would be a little too weird i'm gonna split it down the middle i'm gonna say two of them are gonna have that number one of them's not the first one we scratch off well, that's a seven. Oh, could have won five thousand dollars right there man the next one, oh, 18, don't worry. We got $50,000 on that one. And the next one is 46, which is $22,500. It's half of half of 45,000, what the fuck? Well, what? <laughs> this is the same, it's the same exact scratcher thing, except instead of winning money, we're gonna win savings. So I don't even know what to expect here. Is it 18 again? No, it's actually, it's a shape. Oh, the maximum saving symbol. Okay, I'm like, let's even put, fucking put a number there. You put a shape? Like, what is this shit? <laughs> it's, <laughs> uh, it's scratched off. That looks like a circle. Nope, that's not what we want. Oh, look, the center. Oh, my God, it is 50% off. I guessed it. I got it right. I didn't even know that. That's, that's the next one. That's a square. We didn't win this one. 20%. So we got the biggest prize here. We got 50% off. Look at that. Thanks, Papa. I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> I feel like shit. That's the hammer that breaks the window again. In fact, that's the same. That's the same. Hang on. <laughs> oh no. Where's the other one? Where? Oh no, I've lost it. It's buried in this sea of trash. Motherfucker. I don't know where it went. This is the same picture from the other ad. Except they've just photoshopped out the orange one from her hand and replaced it with the silver one. There's the car. Uh, this is a yellow car this time instead of a blue one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that's, that's a pretty practical thing. It's a Linton brush for your... Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I gotta show this to my parents. Hang on, let me focus in on this. That's the dryer that they used to have. That's the dryer my mom and dad bought when they got married in 1982. That's the one they bought. That's the same fucking model. I can tell from the knobs and the, 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 the style right there, and that's where the lint trap was. Where do you <laughs> where do you even find those to take a picture with anymore? What? What? <laughs> That's a fucking, that's a, almost a 40 year old fucking dryer right there. What? <laughs> I got asked a good question about the diabetes book. Was it on, <laughs> oh no. Oh, the diabetes book, where did it go? <laughs> oh, it's back. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> they're not advertising sugar. It's a container to keep it sealed. But <laughs> that's fucked up. That is fucked up. Come on, you couldn't put this, you couldn't do it a different way and put like the fucking stupid coat hanger push pins on this side and put the sugar ad on a different thing? That's messed up. Oh shit! Hang on, is that a radio control walking dinosaur that I, hang, no, no, the AC better chill the fuck out. This is important. Does it say, oh god, it plays dance music, it does say that. Oh, you, I thought, I thought the chat's fucking with me, it's like, who, <laughs> plays dance music. I have seen these on AliExpress for literally like less than 10 bucks. And that's with free shipping because most of the stuff on AliExpress is. 
How much are they hawking this for? Dinosaur. It's, it's $20. It's the little one down there. So they're selling you this for 20 bucks. You can buy it for less than half of that online. And you know it's a really cheap-ass Chinese toy. Because like any good Chinese toy, one side of the toy is just littered with screw holes to hold the thing together because it's such a piece of shit. And the, the side of this dinosaur they chose to photograph is the one with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 visible screw holes on it. No, I'm sorry. 12, 13, 14, down on the leg. 14, over a dozen visible screw holes. That's, the, that's what they... Okay. It's a really great product picture, you guys. You make it really, really doing it out there. This is different, though. Uh, large print crosswords. Large print word search. And quality fill-ins. I don't know what that means. So these down here, if you pay attention to the fine print, you get four issues of whatever the hell quality fill-ins is. It looks like a crossword puzzle, but... It's a crossword... Okay. Quality fill-ins is a combination between a crossword puzzle and a word search. They give you the words? There's no numbers. I presume they give you the words, and you have to put in where they go so that they all so it's like a crossword right where all the words are in the thing but this is just all the answers without any of the hints and you just figure out where they go that's kind of dumb but okay but down here you get four four issues which is five months this is four issues so they it's talking about like saving money off the cover price these are the fucking shitty books they have at the at the grocery store checkout they're like 2.99 like look at all this shit Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this. Fuck. Oh my god. Like. And. 6.7. Ounces. I did a little bit of digging. Just a, ten, a little bit of digging on Publishers Clearinghouse before the stream started. Because as I was going through this. The one thing that I kept thinking about. Was where do they get all their money. So I did some Googling, and I found a page where it's like, uh, this guy explains it and says, PCH is a big company that makes big bucks every year. They don't just sell magazine subscriptions anymore, but also jewelry, timeshares, housewares, and they own many online sites. I found out, you guys remember CandyStand.com? That had all the badass games online, CandyStand? PCH bought them. If you go to CandyStand.com, it redirects to a shitty PCH website full of crappy online games where you can win shit. That's what became of the, the website that you spent all of your time on in the computer lab in middle school. It got bought by these fucking people. This guy says the one sweepstakes, the odds was one in, in 520 million, which is several magnitudes more better than one in 6.2 billion. Uh, and he also says, by comparison, the odds of winning the Powerball jackpot was one in 292 million. So you were you are half as, back then, for whatever sweepstakes he was talking about, you're half as likely to win a publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes as you are the literal fucking goddamn lottery. You're half as likely to win this compared to the lottery. Half as likely. Like, you have a better chance, you're twice, you're, t by flipping the math around, you're twice as likely to win the lottery than you are to win this shit. I also found a website I want to run through real quick with you guys. It's called, uh, consumeraffairs.com. Now, I don't know if it's, like, the Better Business Bureau, because one thing I did notice is that they, they claim to have a, a an accredited A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. So, that's gotta be bullshit, because, again, I don't know what this website is, but... Publishers Clearinghouse, um, let's see, they've received 120 ratings in the last calendar year through this website. Out of 121 ratings, they have 1.2 out of 5 as a rating. This is, it says it's a verified person. I don't know if that means that they just clicked a link in their, uh, in their email from signing up. But he mentioned something. He says, I've been playing for a little over 10 years. 10. And he says, they make you believe you're the next big winner. And he starts talking about, he says, it's just like all the fake apps on the marketplace. So, 
I guess they also have like apps you can download on your phone, and I'm pfft, that's stupid. Here's Luis of Pflugerville, Texas, right, right here. She ordered HGTV magazine, twenty issues for twenty six bucks, and never received her subscription. She called, and the people didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. So there you go, Lisa of Burnsville. MN. That's not Minnesota. Is MN Montana or MO Mon? No, MO is Missouri. MN. Anyway, fuck, I don't know. Um I've been playing Publishers Clearinghouse for 5 years and I still haven't won the sweepstakes. And a downfall is I've been in this for a long time and I still haven't won anything but 5 bucks. In there it says we can make your dream come true, but the sad part about all that is about time they make your dreams come true, you pretty much have been real old, and that's not fair. It shouldn't take ten years or longer than that just to win a sweep. Okay, this person's fucking dumb. This person's, like, legit stupid. It shouldn't take... It shouldn't take more than ten years to win a sweepstakes since you only got one in six billion chance of winning. One in six point two billion is almost, like... That's slightly less than the population of the Earth, so it's like picking one person off the fucking planet. Yeah, it would take more than ten years to win that, you idiot. Anyways, when this showed up in the mail, like I said, it was just the, the white envelope first. And it confused the hell out of me. Um, <laughs> and I, I sat on this because, like I said, we had a few more weeks of, of content to get through. And then while I was waiting, we got another one. And I just, it blew my mind that they, they really were hammering on, this is from a relative of mine, they were really hammering on them to try to get money, to try to, you know, flooze them out of some money or something, which is, is really, really shitty. So, that's my little spiel on Publishers Clearinghouse, that unbox took a very long time, but, you know, that's, uh, Spam mail is always a, a fun thing, and like I said, I thought this was something that disappeared when the internet came about. I thought, I thought the internet would have, just, they would not have been able to continue their stupid scheme on, on, on with, with the internet being available, or they just adapted, and it seems they've done that because now they have apps and other crap with games. So, that's what it is. Yeah.